back to the Tubby Chase Farm Blog. It is the first week of March, and as you can tell, the weather has gotten much better. The sun finally made an appearance, and it looks like for the better part of the week, if not the whole week, we're going to have sunny days. The stabs are doing great. I've got them all up in the corral, but it's time to get them out of there. It's, it's muddy. I'm going to move them in the pasture. Basically, I'm going to set up a wire from the fence here. It's going to come through, go down into the valley, up, and then way back over here is where we set up the bales raising uh, several episodes ago. This wire, you end up spending a fair amount of time walking, putting up new fence, taking down old fence. You get pretty efficient at it. Most places on the farm, I actually drive the four-wheeler or the Ranger while holding the reel and go to one side and then drive back while I put in fence posts on the other. This here, it's a bit up and down, bumpy, and quite frankly, I'm pretty happy to be out in the sun again. Watching farming on YouTube, it always looks like everything goes just right. That's because of the edit button. However, things don't always go right. Those calves are supposed to be in the corral. Not in that field. Somebody left the gate open. And since this isn't really Yellowstone, and I don't have a bunch of cowboys to blame, I guess that someone was probably me. Right, let's hope, let's hope. No. And now he's trapped. All right. That may be one of the easier uh, cattle rustling I've had to do. You'll, you'll notice that I'm a, as I say on my website, as I've talked about, I'm a forage based operator. This is going to be all grass fed beef, limited inputs, uh, no hormones, antibiotics if I have to, if a, if a tap gets an antibiotic, it will never go into my grass fed program that will be sold back through the market. Um, however, you will see feed bumps. You'll see feed bumps in the corral. You'll even see a feed bump, feed bumps out here in the bale grazing area. I learned long ago, it's a lot easier to catch these cattle when they want to come to you. So about every other day, every third day, I will give them a white five gallon bucket full of grain, about 25 pounds, it's about, I don't know, half quarter of a pound per cattle. But when they see me carrying that white bucket, they start coming to me. So if, they, if these cattle would have been further out, spread around this farm. Now, I'm not sure I would have been able to get them back as easy because these calves aren't, they've not been here long enough. They're not as trained to it. But I can get that white bucket and start walking with it and shaking feed. And I can get them to go just about anywhere I want them to. I do have a road frontage and I have had um, the cattle, some of them get out onto the road. They get down into the neighbor's yard into a nice fresh patch of green grass you better have that white five gallon bucket or you're gonna have a hard time getting them back down that road Happy moment though to get them out of that corral, get them out here on pasture. Mm. 
notice a couple places like this. I'm gonna place a hay bale in there and see if it won't fill that up. And Thank you for watching the Chuffy Chase Farm Vlog this week. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you following along with what's all happening here on the farm. The Lord did bless us with a great weather, as bad as it was last week. The old adage of Mark Simeon like a lamb was definitely true this week. We'll see if uh, this is just a bit of a false spring. As a reminder, we've got uh, the 150 Freedom Ranger broiler sets coming. They'll be here in the mail in about 10 days or so, so a week after next. Pretty excited about that. If you haven't checked out the website, please do so, www.tubbychasefarm.com. We also have the shop up and running. We will have grass-fed ground beef, uh, pasture-raised chicken, brats, franks, summer sausage, and beef jerky available by the end of May. Everyone have a great week.